what's up guys oh my god we're only into the first week of january and the internet has already gone absolutely crazy today we're going to be talking about jeffree star and some really interesting claims that came out about him and kanye west together like together together in person hooking up cheating on kim kardashian the whole package yeah it's a mess so let's get into it exposed 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 Before we get into the tea, I just want to expose today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is an online adult store and they've given me a discount code for you guys over the age of 18 to use. All you gotta do is go to adameve.com and do a little bit of shopping for yourself. Once you're ready to check out, use code SPILL and you're gonna get 50% off of one item in your cart and free shipping to the US and Canada. What I really love about Adam and Eve is how amazing their customer service team is. You can shop worry-free because Adam and Eve has 90-day hassle-free returns and 24-7 customer support to help you out when you need anything. To make things even better, Adam and Eve also donates 20% of their profit to help fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. As always, all the information will be linked down below. Don't forget to use code SPILL and let's get into the tea. A few days ago now, Page Six published an article that read, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce. She's done. Apparently, multiple sources told Page Six that Kim had actually hired a divorce attorney for the stars named Laura Wasser. They claim Kim hasn't been wearing her wedding ring in a really long time, and Kanye has been living at their home in Wyoming over the holidays instead of spending time with his family. The source goes on to say, she's really serious about taking the bar exam and becoming a lawyer. She is serious about her prison reform campaign. Meanwhile, Kanye is talking about running for president and saying some other crazy and she's just had enough of it. His bizarre presidential campaign made Kardashian realize that she needed to end the marriage for the sake of her kids and her own sanity. I'm not really too invested in Kim Kardashian and her marriage, but they do have a family together, so it's definitely a sad situation. But in all honesty, I read the article and said, yep, and moved on with my day. Or so I thought. A few hours after the news broke, a girl on TikTok named Ava Louise posted a video with some really interesting tea. According to Ava, the news of Kim and Kanye's divorce came as no surprise because apparently it's been known for months that Kanye has been hooking up with a really popular male beauty guru she says it's been no one within the scene for a while now now that kim's finally doing this i feel like i can spill the tea that i've been holding on to for months this whole divorce comes as no surprise kanye's been hooking up with a very famous beauty guru male beauty guru a lot of people in the scene have known for a while now she didn't name any names probably for legal reasons but at first she liked one comment and one comment only and that was one that read Jeffree Star. Let me just remind you, Ava Louise is the girl that licked a toilet seat on an airplane in the middle of a pandemic. She's the girl that went on Dr. Phil and admitted that she puts on an act to gain followers, and she's also friends with Tana Mojo. Despite her trustworthy and reliable past, people ran with this story that she put out and it started trending on Twitter and like every news outlet was picking it up. I swear at this point, people on the internet were so confused that they were just trying to connect the dots. Jeffrey recently moved to Wyoming, but before he moved, he was spending a ton of time there. In August, Jeffrey wrote, packing up for my trip to Wyoming, can't wait to live there part-time on the new Star Ranch and start to write my autobiography. He also got his driver's license changed over to Wyoming, so it started to look like his move there was going to be a little bit more long-term. Although some people might think it's a bit strange for Jeffrey to be living part-time in Wyoming, it actually makes a lot of sense. They have no personal or corporate tax there, which means Jeffrey just gets to keep more of his money. Although, now some people are thinking that Jeffrey moved to Wyoming for Kanye West. It even feels weird just saying those words in the same sentence together. Kanye actually built a $14 million ranch out there, and it's believed that he's been spending most of his time there while his divorce with Kim plays out. The rumor going around that got created on Twitter is that Jeffrey and Kanye have been 
been secretly seeing each other. People even found a picture of Jeffree Star in Wyoming and zoomed into the reflection on his sunglasses and were saying that it was Kanye West with him. This rumor just kept getting bigger and bigger and people kept going back to Ava Louise TikTok pleading for more information. She updated people in her comment section and said, my friend is a big lawyer in LA and met with Kim months ago and was told all of this given evidence. I want to drop receipts, but can't. This is all alleged, but you know, my source is good. I believe them. People started digging through Jeffrey's tweets to see if they could find anything about Kanye West, and they did. Back in 2011, Jeffrey tweeted at Kanye, Last night was so fun. Strange enough, the tweet was quickly deleted once people found it, which just made people think there's definitely something going on between the two. Jeffree Star has been really open in the past and has talked about how these famous people he hooks up with make him sign some kind of NDA. Do we really think if Jeffree was truly with Kanye West, he would be okay with him tweeting out, last night was so fun? At this point, I was just waiting for Jeffree to jump on Snapchat and address everything, but what he did next left my jaw on the floor. Jeffrey tweeted out a picture of him with a caption that said, Sunday service. As you guys probably know, Sunday service is Kanye saying that he does every Sunday. It's pretty exclusive and you can only get in by invite only. You just know Jeffrey was playing into this whole rumor and was probably loving every second of it. It's no secret that Jeffrey hates the entire Kardashian family, so he was probably just living for the fact that he was being blamed for destroying Kim's marriage. Jeffrey has always had this weird feud with the Kardashians, so I feel like he's gonna try and keep this going as long as possible. A few hours later at nighttime, Jeffrey played into the rumors even more, tweeting out a picture of him in a car captioned, I love these beautiful Wyoming winter nights. It's kind of funny that Jeffrey is actually still playing into these rumors because a drama channel called Dustin Daily came out hours earlier with an exclusive statement from Jeffrey Star himself. Dustin said that he texted Jeffrey and was like, did you take Kim's man? Like, what's going on here? I messaged Jeffrey and I said, sis, I have to ask, this TikTok is blowing up. Did you take Kim's man, girl? And Jeffrey said, yeah, he's right here beside me. Do you want to say hi? Immediately, immediately, Jeffrey texts me back. He said, would you like to say hi? Pink Yeezys coming soon. I'm guessing Dustin was probably like shocked at this point, so they jumped on FaceTime together and unfortunately, or fortunately, Jeffrey was just sitting there getting his hair done and flat out told him that it's not true. This video from Dustin came out hours before Jeffrey really started playing into the rumors with his Sunday service tweet, so it definitely seems like he's gonna play into this for as long as he can. The girl who started the rumor also went on TikTok to say that Kim Kardashian was actually suing her and is currently shopping for a outfit. Overall, it was a pretty entertaining rumor, but I mean, come on. It came from a Dr. Phil toilet licking TikToker. Did we really expect it to be true? Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.